Warning, this documentary contains shocking cultural images. Your discretion is advised. It's Micah Fearless and Far, the most adventurous channel on YouTube. We're on a quest to try all the rites of passage in the world, and we've got a crazy one today. Ika. Hit it. <laughs> Diarrhea, my friend. Oh, I feel it going through. Welcome to Binga, a small town in the northwest of Zimbabwe. It's home to the Batonga tribe an interesting people living on the banks of Lake Kariba. I had seen photos of their painful rites of passage and also whatever these are. This experience has got to be one of my favorites so far, as well as one of the most painful. You'll see. Let's continue. After traveling for hours in a 4x4, we arrive at the village. Here we are. Gande village. By now, we've learned the local greeting. <laughs> it's a clap. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> Mike. <laughs> Michael, Michael. <laughs> nice to meet you. Um, you're Michael too. Hey, Michael, Michael. Mumpande. <laughs> Mumpande. Mumpande. Yeah. Yeah, Michael, Mikey. Mikey, Mikey. Yeah, yeah, that's Mike. it. <laughs> The women sing to greet us, which honestly is a highlight of my life. It's lunchtime here, and uh, the first step to cooking lunch is getting some water. I'm with Moyo. Moyo. <laughs> Moyo. And Mike. Mikey. He means Melen Moyo. Your name is Moyo. <sighs> We're walking under these incredible trees here, right? <clears throat> Pretty much everything is barren. Look. Boom. It's the dry season. Uh, however, these trees are growing really well because there is a spring of water that allows this village to exist, as well as these trees to grow into the behemoths that they are. This is the spring. There's also a little bit of a queue, a line, all these buckets. And slowly we have to wait for that to fill. Yeah, it takes time, right? Uh-huh. So we've got a little bit of water, uh, but as you can tell, it bubbles up to the sand, which is a great filter, but it does it at its own time. So I think that'll be good for water for now. We'll have to come back later, maybe get some more. But uh, yeah, if you're thirsty, there's water. It just, uh, you gotta be patient. The presence of the water spring allows them to make gardens here. A lot of that water goes to keeping these things nice and green. This is kovo, right? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. Like a kale-like uh, leaf. Mm -hmm. We're going to grab some for lunch. As well as there's cucumber and pumpkin as well. It's not the right season, but they grow gourds. Not to eat though but to make water pipes. And that's probably one of the most iconic parts of Batonga culture. And they pretty much smoke all day, so we'll get to that. First, lunch. Back in the village, Mumpandi is mashing up some green stuff. And I have some concerns. What is this though? Mope? Mope. It's not, it's not it looks like cow dung or something. Mm, my turn? But what is it? What is it? I don't get an answer. Looks like I uh, had a problem in the bathroom. That's <laughs> what <laughs> <So> it looks like. <laughs> now Mai has some advice for me. You know what she's saying? Is she saying that if I eat too much I'll have diarrhea? Exactly. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> she offers me a goopy cup. Okay, yeah. 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 Why am I hesitating, right? Just the big sloppy, sticky mug of green stuff. Good. Very good. Very sweet. Like 
Good. Mm -hmm. I like it. So a little crunchy. She's going. She's doing the full cleanse, the Zimbabwean cleanse. <laughs> Not many times have I willingly given myself diarrhea. Looks like diarrhea causes causes diarrhea. Ben gives it a shot too. I mean, if it's not cow's blood, it's making yourself shit, right? Mmm. <laughs> mmm. It's like um, apple sauce. Yeah. Oh. Get any crunchy bits yet? Not yet. It's dangerously good, though. It's actually tamarind fruit mixed with rocks and ash to make it less acidic. But tell me, if Mumpandi offered you a sloppy cup of the green stuff, would you try it? Or would you upset her? Let me know in the comments. First impressions, the people here are so nice and welcoming and warm, which isn't that much of a surprise because everyone we've met in Zimbabwe is exactly the same way. One of the friendliest countries I've been to. Let's do a little tour around the uh, village and I'll show you some things. I'm guessing this, these bales of hay, are actually for the thatched roofs, like right here, see? They're probably just drying it out to make a good covering. And I'd imagine you have to replace these maybe every five years or so. Hello. <laughs> and it's a very simple home. Knock, knock, no one's home. All made with clay, there's some pots. Hi. But we'll, uh, we'll leave it to it. All right, here, generally these things are granaries, granaries, where you keep things off the ground. If they're on the ground, then they can spoil with the rain. Oh, we got power, solar panel and music coming from the hut. Hey, nice to meet you. <laughs> Can I come in? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You speak some English? Yeah. <laughs> hey, bro, Mike, hi. Inside the mud hut, my man here is living his best life. It's amazing that solar can panel the whole entertainment setup there. But yeah, it's a pretty, uh, pretty simple life out here. No cell towers, no connection. Only power is the solar panel we saw. And this looks like a coop for goats. Hello. We got two goats, three goats, which probably are not pets. They're probably dinner. We'll, we'll probably see as well. I don't know. It's like, what, what do you need, right? Do you need to live in a city? Do you need to be connected? Do you need the rush and busyness of a high density metropolitan area? Or you got this, nature, dirt under your feet, sky above, I don't know. Kind of like this sometimes. I find a small stick by a hut. What about this? And I bring it over to the women. No. <laughs> yeah, it works. Okay. <laughs> Take, <laughs> and takes a rip. <laughs> it's like a Snoop Dogg video in this village. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. Smoke weed every day. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Lunchtime, and the village assembles to cook. We all sit in a loose circle, and I get served a plate. This woman named Now Mai has taken a liking to me, though not the camera. I promise she's not as grumpy as she looks. She sits beside me and helps me with lunch. We got some corn porridge, we got a couple kinds of fish, and we got a really hot plate. You know how we do it. Spoon, fork, knife, all right here. Take the corn porridge, like that. Dip it in the salty smoked fish sauce, like that. I never quite know how much to eat. We've got okra on the plate now. I've been trying to finish this corn porridge, but uh, Lakota, 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 satisfied. I'm satisfied. Yeah, I think Lakota. Is the, is the word for please have mercy on me. This corn porridge is so filling. 
And this okra is so slimy. I'll eat anything, but it's hard to eat it when it won't stay on your fingers. Mmm, that's it, right there. Nomai has taken my plate because she wasn't very impressed with how much okra I ate. And now you? Mm. Yeah, I didn't clean up, so now we're, we're taking, taking seconds. I mean, oh, you gotta wrap the okra with the corn porridge to absorb the sliminess. <laughs> Learning things the hard way. Mm -hmm. Show us how it's done. So you wrap it up. Oh, then you take, you take, the, you you take the sliminess off on the plate. You break the strands and then you eat it. Otherwise, you look like you're a drooling dog. Someday I'll get it. So it's a little rookie here. After lunch, I start asking questions about the nose piercings. <laughs> this is what they this is what they used to pierce the noses. Yes. Yeah. This is the type of thorn. We we're getting a little explainer on the uh, nose piercing. These are acacia thorns. They grow in the bushes here, and this is how they do the piercings. They shove this through here. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> like that and then this is I believe a piece of grass but that uh, a little bit and then blood? probably then I'm presented with an opportunity come to these faraway places right very few if any tourists have been to this village meet some people they're awesome they've got some fun tribal practices you ask a lot of questions and then you find out you can participate if you choose to. I mean, sometimes you can be a bit afraid of getting dirty or eating something and having diarrhea. But ultimately, why I travel is to show you guys a deeper part of the world, to jump in, to participate. Life is a participation sport, not a spectator sport. You gotta be in the action. That's what we do on Fearless and Far. And now we found ourselves picking out a thorn from an acacia tree for a nose piercing. Small or big? Yes. It's the question today. Little one or big one? I feel like little might hurt less. Big would make a better hole. Yeah. Who am I kidding? They're both gonna hurt exactly the same. <laughs> Don't do it now. <laughs> the number one question I get is, Mike, can I travel with you? And the answer is yes. Go to fearlessandfar.com slash trips to see when the next one is. Then it's time. All right. Are you ready? Man, I'm never really that ready. But we do it anyway. <laughs> Rolling. We're all given this meat bag, right? And we try so hard to preserve it. We've got collagen creams and facelifts, but ultimately it's gonna crack and fall apart. I'll be damned if I go to a grave without living a life well lived. And that means having some scars, some bumps, some bruises, some ink, and a few holes. So, I am ready. We've got a crowd, rites of passage make you grow. And so, now me, now my, no, my. Now it's time. Mike. This is gonna suck. Fast, please. Fast, fast. Fast. I don't think she knows where to put it. That's the wrong place. Hold on, hold on. It's too low. Oh, oh I feel it going through. Oh, fuck me. So much for fast. I am weeping right now. Is it through? I can't even tell. They think it's through, so they try and push the grass in. Are we gonna... No, oh, oh the, the straw is even worse. <coughs> We're just, we're just fishing a, a reed through a hole halfway in my nose right now. It's bumping against cartilage and bone. Oh, shit. Oh. oh, don't twist it. I don't think it's through. I think, uh, I think it's halfway. We're just fishing around in there trying to find treasure. We painfully learn our first attempt didn't go through after all. 
So we go back to the thorn. I was uh, praying this would be fast. Yeah, there's a soft spot in the cartilage. But I don't think she found it. Yes. Is it true? It's true. Oh, sweet God. Oh. All right, so. We try again with the grass. You know what? The, the spinning. Didn't anticipate the spinning. Yeah, almost, 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 almost. Ah, and now we're back to the thorn. Big breath, big breath. Big breath. That's not the same hole, is it? I realized that I falsely assumed that the older ladies who had piercings could give piercings. I was wrong. So, so, so wrong. Yeah, very bony. You can see it. This end. It's gone through? You see it? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Hey, Mike, we think it's gone through. Yes. <gasps> it's through, Mike. Bro, you can see the head. We had to do it twice. Yeah. One we got it done. Cut it the other end. No, we, we're no, no, not no, happy no, with this. No, we got, don't cut we got it. half. We don't need to twist it anymore. We're good. We wanted to cut it so that it's short. You know what? I like it. I like the. I like it. My left side is my nice side. We can keep it the way it is. We can be the cities. We don't need to twist it anymore. We don't. We don't need to pull it. We don't need to do too much more. Do you have a knife? No. I'm happy. I'm happy. Do you have a knife? Cut it. I'm happy. I am happy. Guys, I am so happy right now. We don't need to cut it. We don't need to twist it. Yeah, yeah. We're good. We don't. We next. Let's do some smoking. Let's do some smoking. Great. I know it's not pretty. But I'm not that pretty of a guy. Maybe more now. It's not perfect, but sometimes perfection, sometimes perfection is overrated. We fished around in there for five minutes, maybe ten. How long is it? Fifteen. Fifteen minutes of fishing around my nostrils with a thorn or two. It's through. <laughs> I think we're good. So we talked a bit about how these ladies actually love. It will be. Yeah, yours is nicer, I know. I know yours is nicer. I know yours is nicer, but I like I like the symmetry, you know? It's, yeah, but mine, I don't know. I, I think I think it's suiting for me. Okay. okay. Uh, thank you, Mike. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm drowning in my own tears. <laughs> oh, dude. That was so hard to watch. <sighs> but do I look cool? Always, man. Yeah. Am I more of a, am I more of a man? <laughs> Though, by the way, in my head, I was like, worst case scenario, it's going to take uh, two minutes. You know, th Thorn was really sharp. It was like a sewing needle. Push it through. We got a really, really fine piece of grass. Tried to push that through. I think maybe the grass frayed inside my nose and there was jamming a jagged piece of grass. I mean, the grass is very, very hard, so it was more like a stick, but like a frayed stick through a small hole in my nose. I mean, it went through, kind of, as much as the cartilage let it. So I find another thorn and I balance it out. <sighs> now we party. <laughs> you are uh, savage. Mike, Mike. You are a Mike, savage. Okay. <laughs> Mike. I mean, did it. We wild boy. It. He's a wild boy. Yeah. Killed it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, now I'm part of the crew. <laughs> oh. Nice to meet you. This is the new Mikey. We grab some of the gourd pipes take some coals from the fire, oh, and we way. celebrate <laughs> my rite of passage. <laughs> Not quite a man yet, god damn. <laughs> That's a mix of a whole, a whole bunch of things in there. A few I know, a few I don't. A few that probably I can't show. Ben's also a sucker for punishment. <gasps> And is looking for a new souvenir as well. Sure, yeah. Ben, how you feel, man? Sure, yeah. Excited. You know, I've wanted this piercing sure. for ages. So he'd like it. Malangi. Malangi he'd like it right there. Okay. Okay. What'd you do? Uh, yeah, she's got it. Oh, that ear's tough. 
Yeah. And it's through. I'm here. Woo. Nice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> done. Yeah, done. It's it's pressing into the side of your neck. Nice. That was easier than your nose, mate. <laughs> oh, it hurts so much. A painful mustache. We begin the celebration, but then I discover something kind of embarrassing. It's a passage, right, to grow. With the Batonga, it was the nose piercing. But after the fact, I realized through conversation, this is a rite of passage for young girls going through puberty and gonna marry their husband. That's what we did today. Sometimes you make mistakes when you travel. There's things lost in communication. So I now have a rite of passage for a teenage girl. But hell! I feel like I grew up a little. We've got Ben, BM Creative, on the camera with his new ear piercing. Hey. And we got Gumbo from Experience of Travel Africa. And this is how we do it. True definition of African travel experience. Let's do it. I'm Micah Phyllis and Barr, the host of the most adventurous channel on YouTube. I hope you're enjoying it. I'll catch you in the next adventure.